Hello and thank you for watching. My name is John and this is the Crash Course in Maya UV Unwrap version 2011 series. Section 3 UV Texture Editor. In this video I'm going to be discussing the UV Texture Editor such as location, some basic tools that you may already know such as move, rotate, and scale. Some tools you may not be aware of such as UV Lattice Tool, UV Smudge Tool, the UV uh, Shell Tool, the Select Shortest Edge Path Tool, the Smooth UV Tool, and the Flip and Rotate UVs. So let's get started. In this scene you'll notice I have a cube with a UV checker te uh, tester on it. When I select it you'll notice I have three subdivisions on each side. This is for uh, testing purposes. Now location of the UV tester or the UV texture editor. One way to go, to, uh, go about it is click window. You don't have to go to anything, it's just right here. Badam! UV texture editor and it'll open an external window with the UV texture. Next, if you want, uh, want to override a window already, existence, panels, panel, UV texture editor, and there you go. So let's get started. First, to select the UV. If you right click, like you would a vertex, edge, or phase, on the right hand side in the hotbox is your UVs. Now, I like to make a couple points. One, UVs are 2Ds. Uh, is 2D only, so therefore I have the UV selected, I cannot move it out in 3D space. Alternatively, if you select the uh, vertices out here, which you could move in 3D space, you're over here, you cannot move them in 2D space. So, remember, UVs are 2D, vert uh, vertices are 3D. That being said, let's go back to the UVs. Well, you already saw I can move uh, use a move tool, so UV selected, move, and there you go. Got some basic movement. Additionally and alternatively, uh, rotate, which is the e, bu uh, e button by default, and there you go, rotate, 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 and R for scale, universal, use, and V. So as you can see, basically the same thing as this if you're generally modeling it in general. So uh, some more advanced tools, such as UV lattice tool, locator right here. I have some uh, UV selected, UV lat lattice tool. Uh, there you go, the default options. You'll notice that it creates a red box with some uh, circular handles. And when I move one of these handles, you'll see, like the animation lattice tool, it starts to animate and deform the UVs how we so desired. Now, as you notice, I double click this to uh, get the option box on the right hand side, the tool settings. However, the other location is tools, UV lattice, and here's the option box if you want to explore it that way. So, uh, one option is you'll notice that this columns and rows, just like uh, the animations, if you increase that, you increase the, uh, the cage or the lattice tool. Fall off, I want to reset that real quick, is how sticky the UVs will be to the lattice. Therefore, if I make the fall off 1.8 or something of the sort, you'll notice that it's not as sticking to the uh, lattice cage as much as it used to. It's very nice if you want to get subtle movements instead of direct and uh, absolute movements. I'll do that real quick. And use a uh, bounding rectangle. As you notice, when I create this giant marquee, it'll only select the uh, UVs, and the lattice cage will go around those UVs. That's where this comes in. You uncheck that, it's actually going to create a lattice cage around my uh, marquee selection. So, another way of going back uh, with your UVs. So, that is the UV lattice tool. The next tool I'll be discussing is the UV smudge tool, which is located right here. In addition, right here, you can also go to Tools, UV Smudge Tool. So, reset the settings, make sure I'm on that. How to use this is uh, you select some UVs, select the UV Smudge Tool, and you'll get like a paintbrush effect. So if you hold B, you can increase the size or decrease it if you move left. So hold B, left mouse button, increase, decrease. Once you get the uh, brush size you want, you just hold left and you start smudging, much like the Photoshop Smudge Tool. Some options such as the effect type, fix and smudge. As you notice, the pressure is uh, absolute, you cannot change it. However, the smudge size, which is the brush size, hold B, will increase and decrease that way. So that's what that does. But if you want to affect the pressure, click smudge, and that'll get you the pressure that you want. So if you want a lot of pressure, you want everything to move wherever you want it, there you go, pressure. Reset that. Middle mouse uh, initiates. Therefore, if you have that selected, you can now use a middle mouse to uh, do the smudge tool instead of the left mouse, cl mouse click, and you can use a left mouse click to create more selections. So you can actually get a faster productivity going. So I actually um, would 
encourage middle mouse initiates option selected so you can keep your left mouse button open for selections. The next tool I'm going to talk about is the Move uh, Shell Tool, which is located right here. You probably saw me use this very briefly uh, in the previous video, but if you click on that tool, select on any UV, it's going to create your entire UV sh or select your entire UV shell for movement, so you can move it wherever you want it to. As I said previously, every uh, objects are not limited to one UV shell, and I will tell you and show you how to create multiple UV shells for a single object in later videos. Next uh, tool I'm going to discuss is uh, the Select Shorted Path uh, tool, which is located right here. And additionally, tool. Oh, never mind then. Select. Uh, oh, I can't find it. Anyway, right there, uh, easier. This tool is you select a UV. Boom, you got UV selected. But if you select another UV, just regular select, just no shift, there's no control, there's no alt. You select another one, you're going to select the entire edges. Like that old snake game, you can actually start uh, selecting your UVs however you so desired to select the entire UV, uh, the edges along that path. In addition, if I'm all the way over here and I select all the way up here, you'll notice it'll try to create the path with the edges to where I want it to go selected. And just select anywhere to unselect everything. Next is the smooth UV tool. Sub tools are uh, unfold and relax. So you select uh, your option, I select that, and that tool is right here. You're going to get a couple of hot boxes right here, unfold and relax. I'm actually going to go talk about the relax. You left click and hold and drag left and right and you'll get the effect that they're doing. And once you release, there we go, it is finalized. The unfold tries to uh, get everything unfolded as best as possible, same way of using it. Left, uh, left click the unfold and drag and it will try to get everything unfolded as possible. This is useful if you have overlapping UVs such as that and it will try to get everything back to as uniform as possible. However, I want to zoom in so you see, you know it is not perfect and you may require actual usage of actually you know, doing your own thing. Flip and rotate UVs. Sometimes your UVs, for some reason or another, may be inverted like so. So instead of actually trying to do it by hand, there are some tools right here. This is flip it in the U direction, which you probably don't notice in the uh, 2D, but in the 3D, you'll see right here. Click, and you'll notice the texture changes. And then alternatively, there's flip in the V direction, which flips it like that. As you can see, the twos are backwards. I'll go back in the U direction. And there's uh, rotate tools, which is right here, clockwise and counterclockwise, 45 degree angles. So you can, if you want to work with angles, that's fine. And one more I'd like to discuss that I didn't uh, tell you about in the introduction is the alignment tools, which is right here. As you'll notice, I actually have some UVs not aligned, so select the UVs you wanted. Click on these align tools. This is aligned to the left, aligned to the right, aligned to the bottom, aligned to the top. That means is it'll align to the leftmost uh, selected UV that you have, align to the rightmost, the topmost, and the bottommost. For instance, if I select this, all of these UVs are going to snap bam up there like a so alternatively I undid that if I select the left it's going to create a nice sharp edge aligned to the leftmost uh, UV I had selected so select line to the left align to the left align to the left now the outcome of that is it may not be 100% perfect but you can always fix that later so that is it for this video, and uh, the next video is going to be section 4, which is the mapping tools, and that I'm going to be talking about some uh, generic mapping uh, tools that UV has, as well as show you examples of the five main rules uh, I had described in section 2. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you there.